ধু <laughs> আমাদেরকে <laughs> 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 Today, uh, because we have lighted so many lamps here on the eve of the Deepavali, I want to make one very important point. Did you all watch when we were lighting the lamps? We used a candle. And a candle stands very tall with the light. One candle lighted can light many, many candles or lamps. But did you watch? Most of us don't see that. In order to light yet another lamp, a candle or another candle, the candle has to bow, has to come down, has to bend. With a standing straight, you cannot keep lighting the lamps. In order to light another light, in order to light another lamp or candle, invariably you have to just bow and then the candle is lighted. This is a lesson for each one of us to learn. That's the reason you see the truly holy ones are the ones who are humble to the core because truly a knowledgeable person will be like a tree laden with fruits. Nature teaches the best to us. A fruit giving tree when it's full of fruits, you'll find it will bow down so that you can have it. This exactly is what is going to happen to each one of you. If you truly become rich, then you are no longer hankering for ownership and possessiveness. If you truly become rich, your richness will only be in terms of sharing and caring and giving and in that process you gain so much of knowledge so much of happiness that you gradually become wiser and wiser and then this entire giving is with so much humility and humbleness where there is no stake of any ego in it that is true wisdom when you give like a tree with fruits gives but you don't lay any claim of credit or any thank you from anyone. But you give and find so much joy and happiness in it without the slightest bit of any expectation from it. Your giving is truly giving in spiritual sense. And it brings all the fruits from the higher worlds. And that gives you a sustainable happiness in life. Make others happy by bowing down, by bending your knees and help people in distress, in trouble and that's your life.